this week's uh, weekly barter um, is I'm going to talk about these uh, two scraper blades. This is a plow that I got, a hydraulically controlled plow and the scraper blade. While I spent money on these, I had to pay cash for these to get them. I only only paid um, $165 for this uh, plow. And the reason I was able to get it for $165 was because of location. It was so far out in the middle of nowhere in central Utah that uh, I guess nobody wanted to go and buy it. This thing to me is probably worth a couple thousand dollars to the right person. Uh, you just don't see them anymore. And I've been watching this on the internet for about two weeks now. And uh, I kept thinking to myself, if I could make this work on my tractor, I wouldn't have to buy a plow truck. And what I could do is get chains for the rear wheels, which I already have my eyes on some chains. And if I get the brakes fixed, which I've got most of the parts, I'm still waiting for one more parts, which are back, one more set of springs, which are back ordered. Once I get the brakes fixed, I'll have the ability to control the uh, um, right and left brake, which means I won't even have to have complete control of the front tires to plow. Um, I paid $165 for this. Granted, I drove nine hours, nine to 10 hours to get it. Uh, on the way, I found the scraper blade. I paid more for this homemade scraper blade than I did for this plow. So part of the, uh, the art of the barter, in my opinion, is being willing to go places that others won't go. That oftentimes can dictate the price. And, uh, and uh, in this case, it most certainly did. So I have to pick up what's called a, uh, I think it's a one-way hydraulic valve. Uh, actually, it might be a two-way because he told me that uh, this will lift the front of his Massey Ferguson 165 tractor that he had it on, which is a comparable tractor to this this size. So anyway, um, I feel like I did really good this week. Tried to trade him some stuff for it, but he was an old cowboy and most of what I was offering he already had. Um, anyway, uh, now I just need to mock this thing up on my tractor. He designed it to where it will fit right where that bar right there slides through so I'll pull that out and slide the one through the front side and then I need to build a bumper a mount off the bumper to hang this uh, plate off of and then I just get those control valves which already I have the ports on my tractor for it so all I have to do is uh, the ports are right here I, I think it's that one and that one um, and then we're good to go once again, this tractor saved my bacon by uh, getting me unstuck today. Uh, this tractor's part of the family now as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I am now going to go down and talk to a friend that has a dump truck that needs some repairs. And I am going to barter uh, the repairs in exchange for the use of the dump truck to haul gravel up here. 